So, I've been down to immigration this morning, um, processing something else. I need another document, which is basically to show I've had my social security payments here in Spain and showing that it's up to date. So, basically, the one I got a couple of months back is now a date, so I've just had to go in and get it printed. Could I get on the internet? No. I just double checked while I was in there because we, we print off every, pretty much everything else off the net now. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that they ask for which isn't actually part of the process. And I don't really mind doing it, but it, sometimes you do worry if it opens more questions. But I'm not complaining because um, hopefully this will be the last time I'm running around because the next time I'm in uh, the foreigner's office it'll be for my appointment to become a resident and I think I'm pretty much there now because uh, one of the things I did do before Christmas is I went and seen the guy um, and I just asked him straight you know what do you want from me you know I've, I don't mind doing anything but if you tell me exactly what you want I will get it I will do it just to get this done because one of the things they don't like is they think that foreigners come here to abuse the healthcare system I'm actually paying social security twice, so if anything, I'm the one being ripped off. Because <laughs> uh, I pay it in Spain, I pay it in the UK. But they, they've asked me to cancel the one in Spain because it's under the self-employment and I'm not actually doing any work in Spain. It's because I'm doing work for a UK company, which is why it complicates things. Because basically they turn around and go, well, hang on a minute. You're not actually working in Spain, and they thought I was using it for Social Security till they seen that I've been paying Social Security in the UK as well. You think, well, just transfer your contributions. Easier said than done. I'm actually still doing that. It took a while to get that done um, because one of the problems is people will say stuff on the internet as if it's gospel when it's not actually true. An example of that where people go, you need to, the S1 forms from the UK are only for pensioners. It's wrong. It's not only for pensioners. It's cancelled in the last two years. Also wrong. Um, and the S1 is actually what they call an E106. It was an E106 before it became the S1, from what I've heard, because you can't actually find the S1 form on their website. It's still E16, E106. But if you're working in the UK, and living in Europe, the form you actually need is an E104, which is a completely different form, and I only found that out this morning after chasing people on the phone for four hours yesterday. Because uh, the different numbers with the NHS and the um, tax office in the UK, it's horrendous. But every time you ring somebody, it's 20 seconds before you even get to the call. Because what happens is it'll transfer you to an answer machine. It just sits there going through, maybe you need this, maybe you need that. Well, no, I just need the phone to work so I can speak to somebody and I can work my way from there. But not grumbling, nearly there. I'm looking forward to my next appointment with the uh, guys at immigration because it should be my last appointment with them. In Torrebecca, then we start all over again up in Alicante. Alicante is where non EUs are processed, by the way. It doesn't matter if it's for your family or for, um, you know, for, your, for somebody else or for yourself. You, it, all non EUs are processed in Alicante. So that's, that's something to be aware of if you're not familiar with it because you could actually find that you go book your appointment and everything, expect everything to go well. And then what happens is you turn up and they go, you're in the wrong office. I'm trying to avoid people crashing into me here. But I'm glad this last appointment is pretty much done, this little form. Now one of the things, this document I've printed off is a statement of my social security payments. You can actually print this one off on the website. It's actually be, got to be done by somebody in social security. Now, if you're in Torrebecca, Mary Carmen it sits in the foreigner's office. She speaks pretty good English and she, she can print it off for you. Also, if you need the SIP cards, the Spanish medical cards, 
she will also do that for you and she can print them on the spot so that, that's something to be aware of you know handy handy to have her in the office and I'm glad they put her in there because she wasn't there before uh, which made life a little bit more complex because people go you've got to go with social security and you're like well where's that because <laughs> even in the social security office there's also the unemployment office so it's a little bit complicated but I'm blabbing on a bit so I'll cut this off but yeah, looking forward to the next stage.